Assalamu alaikum and greetings to all. My name is Alia Bintia Afai and I'm from Wokbis AR Nora Slinda. Here I am going to present you my fifth semester final project, a tourist center called Cultura de Cloa, which is a cultural arts and education center. The flow of my presentation is as follows. I will start with the design issues that I have observed. The first issue is the lack of appreciation and maintenance towards Kluang's rich culture and artistic identity. Here you can see the mural art and the outdoor sculpture being vandalized and underappreciated. The next issue is the lack of green and open recreational areas among the building dominated site. This poses a problem to our site as it is uh, proposed on one of the only green parks in the area. The third issue is the absence of a specific hub to showcase cultural festivals and hold celebrations for the public. Most of the cultural events held in Kluang are done in different places as you can see. So from these issues, I have derived three design objectives to solve them. The first objective is to investigate 21st century cultural centre typologies that showcases local art and educate the public on preservation significance. The next objective is to study the application of green technologies on buildings and its effectiveness to solving the environmental issues in urban areas. The last objective is to design a tourist centre that complements Kluang's rich heritage and acts as a functional nod to gather for cultural celebrations. Next, I will talk about my client and target users. My client is Jabatan Kebudayaan and Kesenian Negeri Johor or JKKN Johor. The purpose of my design has to be in line with their role, which is to promote culture and the arts to the public. My target users are students, families, and tourists. Now to my design concept. The concept of my building uh, is defined as an enlightened ascent. And to explain, enlighten means to give someone a greater knowledge or understanding about a subject or situation, while an ascent means an instant of rising or moving up. Basically, my idea is to enlighten the users on the significance and beauty of Kluang's culture and heritage in an ascending or gradual manner. And this idea can be achieved through two platforms, which are education and arts. Now to explain more on the ascending part, it relates to the space planning on my design. In terms of art, uh, the spaces gradually defines more meaning and significance throughout each of the higher levels. So it's basically like a continuous storyline. While for education, the lower levels display basic levels of children education, while upper levels gradually provide more complex resources and mature discussion areas. Therefore, the typology of my building is the Cultural Arts and Education Center. Now we'll go to my design approach. The, my approach focuses on promoting cultural appreciation by providing a secured hub to permanently showcase local talents and also to educate students and the youth on the importance of preserving culture and appreciating art and heritage. The main focus of my art spaces is for videography, mural art and performances as they are prominently showcased in Kluang. As for education, my spaces targets uh, primary school students and research tourists, but mainly high school students following the two nearby high schools around the site. Next, we'll go to my site planning. Now, the orientation of the entrance and the public realm is planned so that it can be directly viewed from both of the vistas in the site. And the form orientation also aids the north-south uh, wind flow. The green wall and perforated sheets act as a shading device to shade the east and west side of the building. The landscape near the building is standard away from it to act as a flood prevention method. Next, my precedent studies. I have chosen three buildings to study on their different design aspects that I have implemented in my design. My first case study is the Cultural and Education Centre where I studied its space planning and its use of signature quilting volumes as its main space. The second case study is the Raya Hotel and Convention Centre where I studied its facade treatment using patterned perforated metal sheets. The third case study is the Shanghai Greenland Centre where I studied on its implementation of green technology. Next are how I implemented them in my design. 
I designed a box lecture room and holographic media room with reference on the first case study. I also designed a perforated pattern for my facade in which the shapes are derived from two signature visuals of Kluang which are the bat and the coffee beans. I also implemented green technology on my public realm and my garden with reference to my third case study. Next are my drawing presentations. Here is my site plan. The public entrance is situated at the east of the building while the service entrance at the west. The main entrance is directly accessible from the street art vista as shown here while the public realm faces the main vista. This is my ground floor plan. The, this floor holds the parking bay in which there are 49 car parks, 4 VIP car parks, uh, 2 handicap parkings and 7 uh, motorcycle parkings. On the left side, you'll see a kids playground where I implemented the infamous Kluang um, slide to be used there. Here I will show you the zoning of the ground floor. So these are the public areas. From the ticket counters, you enter the lobby which holds a mini cafe and kiosk stands and then you enter the sculpture gallery. The multi-purpose uh, concourse area is also accessible from the gallery. This is the semi-public area where the kids library is and at the back here is the private service area. The multi-purpose concourse area serves to hold a myriad of different cultural events. It's in line with studies on how to promote cultural appreciation which is by carrying out open events in easily accessible areas. Examples of events that can be held here are open stage plays, cultural dance performances, wedding or event spaces, cultural holiday gatherings, pasar makanan traditional, temporary art exhibitions, traditional craft kiosks, and wayang pacha. Next is my first floor plan. The main spaces here are the box lecture room and the holographic media room. The zoning is as follows, where the public spaces include the art workshops and the semi-public areas holds the resource center mainly for high school students. The semi-private areas are the musola and toilets and the rest are the private area, uh, admin offices and services rooms. The second floor's public area holds an art gallery, while the semi-public zone holds another resource centre for higher level reading and research. The private sector are mostly discussion, services and uh, meeting rooms. Finally, the third floor holds a shared section that binds both education and arts together in a shared space, no longer as a segregated platform. This 4D art exhibition is to educate the public with a wall arts that depict the historical events. The front section is the roof garden that also acts as an observation deck to oversee the architectural heritage of Kluang. This is my front elevation and section XX. This high element here is in response to be in harmony with two adjacent side contacts, as shown, as both have high elements of focus. This is my rear elevation and section YY, where the section focuses on the section cut of the box lecture room. To sum it up, this is an overview of how my concept has been integrated into the space planning of my design. As you can see, the education block serves for the young children on the ground floor. Then a level up is for high schoolers, and then the second level is for upper forms and advanced researchers. Then on the at the art block, um, it has a timeless sculpture gallery on the ground floor, and then on the first floor, a holographic media room that showcases virtual holograms of post-independence life, and then the second floor hosting a modern era art gallery. Then finally, at the highest level, the two platforms of education and art merge to showcase how these two go hand in hand in the efforts to promote cultural appreciation to the public. This is the compilation of my boards. And finally, please enjoy my video presentation.
thank you to everyone who's listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.